Hi. I'm always grateful for your help. Thank you for watching my YouTube video. I'm in Japan. I am Japanese. I like ninja. Today, I am going to teach you how to cook yosenobe, fish and vegetable, etc. But I can't speak English well. So, could you teach me English? Thank you. Let's get started. First, make the soup stop. Another video shows how to make soup stock. I put the link in the summary class. First, pour water into the pot and soak the kelp. It takes about 20 minutes. Then reduce the heat to low and take out the kelp when steam comes out. Then add dried bonnet flakes and set to high heat. When it boils well, take out the dried bonnet flakes and the soup stock is complete. I was busy this time, so I put kelp and dry, dried bonnet at the same time. Introduce the ingredients. Ninja knife. Japanese white radish. Shiitake mushroom. Beach mushroom. Tara. Yellow tail. Green onion. Tof. Herring. Fried tof. Chinese cabbage. Cut Chinese cabbage into bit sized pieces. Cut the radish into bit sized pieces. Fish can be cut into bit-sized bit pieces as well. Cut the tough. It is a bit side. Cut off steam. Oh, big. Also cut the fried tof. Use the kelp used for soup stock again. Kelp is nutritious. Put the ingredients on the pan over high heat. This is, this is herring. Add herring to make ramen soup stock. This is the most delicious. I will show you how to make Hearing ramen in another video. Taro. Also add fish. After adding the ingredients, cover and cook on high heat.
add the seasoning when it gets a little stuffy. Add three tablespoons of mirin. Add one ladle spoon of light soy sauce. Add two tablespoons of sake. Cover until it is boiled. After boiling, add tof. I forgot to put ginger in it. I forgot the sugar. It's down. <laughs> Where is the top? Okay. Top. This is it. Mom, was it delicious? Yes. This seasoning is just right. This is the best ramen soup stock. Thank you for watching my video to the end. This time too. My video might not be so good, but the taste is top-notch and my dish makes you healthy. I hope you enjoyed it and if you like it, please press the like button and subscribe my channel. It will encourage me to make even more delicious Japanese food. And please comment how you like this dish. Juicy, sweet, spicy and tasty, etc. It's okay. See you in the next video. Thank you. Have a nice day.